What's up ladies and gentlemen, back again with another video, and today we're going to be reviewing Scream 2022. I believe this film takes place uh, 10 or 11 years after Scream 4, and it's got a brand new cast and a brand new story it revolves around brand new characters. Uh, they did bring back uh, Nev Campbell, uh, David Arquette, and Courtney Cox back as legacy characters, so they play a very minor role in this film. Uh, but they play in the, uh, play a role in this film nonetheless. Uh, this story revolves around uh, Sabrina Carpenter. Her sister was attacked and then she wants to figure out who is uh, behind the attempted murder of her before she actually gets pursued by Ghostface herself. I believe in Act 2, um, Act 2 or nearly Act 3 I believe that's when uh, Sydney Prescott, played by Nev Campbell, and Gail Weathers, played by uh, Courtney Cox, get involved. While uh, Dewey, De Dewey's character, played by uh, David Arquette, he's he's involved, I believe, in the first two parts of the film and whatnot. His his story pretty much reaches its full arc at, at this point. You know. It, it explains what, what went on between uh, what happened in Scream 4 and what happened between the current film, Scream 22. So uh, you, you, you cover his full story arc and then, um, you know, you get to know, I guess, a little bit about what's been going on with Gail Weathers and her uh, talk show and whatnot. And what Sidney Prescott has been up to. But for the most part, it revolves around this new character named, uh, what's her name, uh, Carpenter, you know. So, you know, uh, she has her own little dark past and it, it kind of goes back all the way with the connections to screen one. So there is uh, some continuity with this uh, uh, requel, you know, cause it's like a, it's like a, Reboot was like a soft sequel at the same time But there are some similar characters in the franchise You probably got like two or three different characters that are related to like Randy Meeks. They have his uh, character traits and whatnot and all this other stuff and um, You know, there's little Easter eggs here and there. I, I thought this was actually a pretty good film uh, In my opinion, I think it's much better than uh, Scream 4 which I should be covering the Scream franchise sometime in the future, you know. Uh, but overall, I thought it was a pretty enjoyable film. There was some pretty good sequences in there. Uh, a lot of good acting. And of course, you know, the whole thing with the character reveal. Um, I, I think one thing that they did need to do a little bit better is that the, the killer should have had better motives in the film. That was probably like my only gripe with the film. Other than that, I thought it was a pretty good film. Um, as far as the ranking of all of them, I'll probably have to do that later on and see how to rank all the screen films. There's, they're already working on a script for uh, a Scream 6, and I believe they're working on bringing back uh, Kirby was part of Scream 4, played by Peyton Hattonier. I heard she's going to be involved in that. So that should be good, a returning of another character, part of the franchise and whatnot. Uh, so they've been kind of bounce around a bunch of other ideas and all that other stuff. Uh, but it, basically, uh, you know, Scream 2022 is basically a passing of the torch, pretty much. You know, you got this new cast, this new generation. And the new uh, final girl, you know, the new leading lady of the franchise. If I were to rate this, I would probably give uh, Scream 2022 an A-. And on the Richter scale between, I guess, uh, 1 to 10, I'd probably give it uh, a 9 out of 10. Uh, what did you guys think of Scream 2022? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Would you guys watch it again? Do you own it in your movie library? you know blu-ray dvd digital whatnot uh comment below and let me know also if you want to see more content like this please like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys around for the next video all right peace